and we we'll, uh, discuss about splunk upgradation today and we'll see like how we can do that in in our production environments so i mean in my next video i'll show you the uh, the the uh, process that you need to follow along when working on production environment like the sequence of upgrade for the better practice but in actual uh, the how you will have to upgrade each instance at a time that i will be demonstrating in this video so for that i have taken one sample instance i provisioned one instance in aws cloud and have configured as plunk on that just to uh, walk you through on the uh, upgradation process how to do splunk upgrade so for that uh, this is the instance what i provisioned and installed splunk on it already so it's well and running and if you see the version what i have installed is 8.2.4 and having said that the, eventually you will have to follow same process across all your instances all indexers search heads and heavy forwarders if you have in your environment but like at a time you will have to do it for one instance and uh, there is a sequence for better practice so in my next video i'll show you that sequence the other things you need to keep in mind while working on the production environment okay so let's move on this one so this is this plan so version 8.2.4 and let's upgrade it to some latest version, maybe some version from series nine, because this is from series eight, eight dot two dot four. So we'll pick some version from series nine. So for that, you need to go to official lesplunk.com site, go to products, free trials and downloads. And since this is the enterprise one, right? So we'll pick we'll Pick a Splunk Enterprise latest version from here. Let's click on Get My Trial. And then go to previous releases because I don't want to try the latest one, uh, which is 9.2.2. So just for this session, I'm going to pick maybe some stable version like I think 9.1.3. So what you need to do, you need, you have three options here to download the uh, latest package. I'm going to pick the tar file. So earlier this option was not there, but Splunk has introduced it. So it's nice to have it now. Earlier we used to click on download now and then copy this wget link and cancel the download in the local system, right? So now they have given the direct link to copy wget command, pick that. And this is the backend login of the same server. So if you see here, I've already installed 8.2.4 and it, Splunk is running. As I already saw new the Splunk web, right? But here also you can verify that. So it's running and if you check out the version, it's 8.2.4. So now let, and it's installed inside OPT, right? So to upgrade, the whatever version you want to upgrade it to, download it inside the same directory. So I'm downloading the 9.1.3 inside OPD. And once the download is complete, so there are a few other steps involved before proceeding with the actual upgrade. So let it complete, uh, just allow it for a few seconds. So it's about to complete now. Okay, so it's installed, right? Let's remove this older file because we no longer need that. It's already installed. Okay, well, so we have 8.2.4 running on this machine and we want to upgrade it to 9.1.3. So now before upgrading, right, what you need to keep in mind is that firstly you need to stop this plan running on the instance so stop it and why we are stopping it 
because we need to take the backup before upgrading it to the latest version. If at all anything goes wrong with the upgrade, you might have to roll back to your previous version. And to take the backup, I mean, we can could have taken the backup while Splunk was running, but to avoid any data inconsistency, it's always advisable to stop this Splunk before taking the backup. So now what we will do, we'll take the backup. Splunk backup dot two dot four off. So this is our Splunk running inside OPT, right? And we'll take a backup of the same Splunk, naming that file as Splunk backup dot two dot four. And extension of this file is going to be tar dot Jesus. Let's zip it. Do that. Okay, so the backup is in progress. It should complete soon, I think, because we don't have anything configured on the instance. So it's plain installation. Just the internal uh, Splunk libraries, I think. Okay, so once it will complete, now what we will have to do, the process is very straightforward as you are uh, following along. So once backup is complete, what we will have to do, we will extract the latest version. That's the GIF file, right? What we have downloaded currently. So we'll extract it and then simply start the Splunk. So what it will, what it does actually, it, it look out for any current existing Splunk directory if it's already there, then it's not going to override that. What it will do, it will, it will just merge, it will just append the changes to the existing directory. That's what it does actually. Because you already have a Splunk running that will already have Splunk internal libraries and all. So only the changes will be, uh, uh, amend. I mean, it's kind of amendment to the existing directory, right? So. Now, if you see, we have taken the backup inside OPT itself. And now we want, we will be upgrading Splunk from current version to 9.1.3. So let's extract this file. 9.1.3, let's extract inside same uh, OPT. So if you had noticed there was already folder called Splunk, right? And we are extracting 9.1.3 also inside OPT itself. So as I earlier said, it will be appending the changes to the existing Splunk directory. It won't replace it completely. So if you see here, we still have a Splunk. However, the extraction of this, it has gone into the same Splunk directory. So now if you start the Splunk, And to avoid reading license and all, so you can just see here, uh, just handy that I'm accepting the license. So now if you notice, the Splunk will recognize and will tell you this appears to be an upgrade of Splunk, right? Because it has pushed the changes inside same Splunk directory. Splunk has detected an older version of Splunk installed on this machine. So it basically it has detected that you are trying to upgrade and you need to just accept yes, upgrade it. So it will simply start the Splunk by pushing the changes to the same Splunk directory. And once it's done, that's all we need to do while upgrading the Splunk. Even in the production, you will have to do it in the same way. But just that you need to follow some sequence. Like if you if you are in a cluster environment, you might have multiple indexers, search heads, and you might have heavy forwarders as well. So when there is a sequence which you need to follow that I'll explain you in my next video. So once Splunk starts here, we will log into Splunk web, verify that uh, whether this Splunk has been upgraded or not, and then we'll close this session for now. Okay, so the start is done. Let's go to Splunk there. And after starting, it has come back, right? So log into it. 
and save it. So now if you go to, and by looking into these uh, previews itself, you can recognize that uh, this plant has been upgraded. So now if you go to about, you can see that it has been upgraded to the 9.1.3. That's what we did. And even from the back end, if you want to verify, let's do that. Sorry, it's been a mistake. Well, so it shows now 9.1.3. So that, that's it uh, uh, for this plant upgrade. Obviously, while working on the production, you will have to take care of uh, compatibility of your UF Splunk Universal Forwarders and Splunk Add-ons apps. So those things we'll discuss in the next video. So that's it for this session. Thank you.